When solving absolute value functions, you want to be sure that you know exactly what to do and in what order. So after copying down my equation accurately, I'm going to write out the first three steps which will guide me through the process. Number one, set y to zero. This is done because you're trying to find the x-intercepts, which is where a graph crosses the x-axis. On the x-axis, you've not moved up or down, therefore your y value, which represents vertical movement, should be zero because there is no vertical movement. Number two, now you are going to use PEMDAS in the opposite order because you are doing the opposite of the norm. Usually you are finding the y value after you input x, but this time you know what the y value is, zero, and do not know the x. So the reverse of the norm means the reverse of the order. SADMEP or S-A-D-M-E-P, subtraction, addition, division, multiplication, exponents, parentheses, is the order of operations for finding x when you know y. 3. As it was stated, since you are doing the opposite of the norm, you are going to also use the opposite operation to solve for x. Additionally, many people may say, get x by itself, but some folks may understand it better by saying, start from the outside of the equation where y is located, working your way towards the inside where x is located. 4. Here is a secret about fractions. The numerator represents the number multiplied and the denominator represents the number you divide by. Since those two operations are together, you must also undo them together. When you undo them, you have to undo the multiplication with division and vice versa. This is the underlying principle behind multiplying a fraction by its reciprocal or inverse when canceling them out. 5. When you take the square root of a square, or take the absolute value of a number, the result is always positive, regardless to whether the initial number is positive or negative. Remember that a negative times a negative is always a positive. With either positive or negative numbers working, now you know why there are two roots for both quadratic and absolute value functions. When checking functions, have a clear understanding of how you are going to approach the equation. 1. This time you are solving for y and you know your x variable, so use one of your roots to substitute for x. 2. You are finding y now again, so PEMDAS is in the regular order. 3. Since you are going in the natural order of things, then you need to use the operation listed or given instead of the opposite operation. Additionally, you are working now from the inside where x is located to the outside where y is located.